Well, I rolled and rolled and rolled those fenders to the point where you even come away from the body a bit. That's a really nasty gap here now. I'm not worried about it. It's a drift car. Cleaned up the paint a little bit. Even trimmed. I cut just like from, from here, kind of down. Just cleaned it up and it's still rubbing there. Unfortunately, I, I'm just going to go with a smaller tire. I'm going to go with like a, a 215 and a 40. These are 225, 45s for my sidewall. It's a bit bigger. I figure if I do 225, 40, it might be okay, but just to be safe, I think I'm going to go with a 215, 40. That'll bring the sidewall in because I like the look. The, the fenders look good. They rolled nice. Uh, I'm trimming a little bit. I got a 15 millimeter spacer. And if I go, if I were to go any shorter, like a 10 mil spacer, I would be contacting the inside of the frame rail. This, this setup is just, just enough. So I'm going to leave that spacer, go with a smaller tire. I don't want to roll anymore. I don't want to cut anymore. So this is yeah, just a smaller tire. That's okay. I'll use these ones in the back. It's no big deal. I'm not, I'm not crying. Yeah, that's a nasty gap, yeah, but whatever. <laughs> so I took it for a drive to the car wash. Cleaned her up a little bit. And then I was turning a corner and I felt a big kook. And that fell out. So that was mostly just rust and bondo anyways. So whatever. That's what it is. Thing. I maybe a trim a little bit more. We'll see. Uh, like it's not bad. Like you don't. It's not gouging at all. Maybe a gouge a little bit up there. You know. But just to be safe, I don't want to be in the middle of a drift or driving on the road and pop a tire or something. The backs are pretty good. Yeah. Got a fingers width in there. Just some minor rubbing. It's okay, I'll have these worn out and I think I'm going to stick to 215s. I'll use these up. I'll go to 215s. No big deal. Alright. Cheers.